Hello, this is Nancy Garnan with 3MAX Alliance and I am the listing agent of this house at 338 West 9th. It's just immediately east of Grant and it's on 9th Street. Now I'd like to kind of show you a little bit about this house so we're going to do a walking tour. And for now I have the garage door open and you can see that there's a little workshop maybe behind it. So let's go inside and enjoy this wonderful home. Now this home was built in the turn of the century and so you can we'll be able to talk a little bit about some of the updating that's been done. So a couple things I want to point out to you on the outside is there's gutters and in a home this old it was not originally put in. Gutters were not standard. <clears throat> so we can see down the sidewalk and you can tell kind of what a beautiful day this is with the trees and things wanted to take you in and it's got a covered porch you know sometimes you're not able to walk into a house with a covered porch so when you come in there's tile on the floor and you have kind of a nice little front entry area let me let the camera adjust while I do this and there's even a hooks here and one of the things I'd like you to notice is that the windows have been updated it's actually vinyl windows it's got the railing and they slide open, so it's double pane windows. It's not one of those houses that have the um, single pane windows anymore. So right now I'm standing in the living room looking back towards the front door. <coughs> and you can kind of see you have a foyer area. So you can make it for sitting area, you could make it kind of a little office, whatever you wanted to do. The cable for your TV is here. And then what we're looking at right now is the dining room. Now there's different lights, there's been different stages of updating throughout time, and you need to decide what you want for lights. But look at those cool, and eh, you can't see it very well here, let me do it this way. The, wind, the um, dividers in the window, isn't that neat? Now this is a two bedroom, two bath house, and you're currently looking into the kitchen area, but we'll come back to that in just a minute. I wanna show you the hallway here for the two bedrooms. Then you have the bathroom, and then you have the master bedroom. And this is kind of a cool space. Now this is probably, okay, so that window's been done, this window's been done. This is a single pane window, but it's two, so it's double pane windows. I said that kind of strange, I know it, but please enjoy it with me. Now we have a ceiling fan in here, and then we have a bathroom. So you have your own master bath, which is really nice. And I'm going to stand over on this side so that you can see the closet. So it's got mirrors on it, and of course that gives the feeling for the room to get larger. By the way, I've learned that on American Warehouse Online, I think it's called, they have a website you can use for measuring houses and actually placing furniture. It's pretty cool. And I'm going to be tying that into my website. Now, the, this is a medicine cabinet, and this is one of those deals like you get to see me here. But you have the medicine cabinet, which has been installed, so there's a little bit of updating. And some lights are missing, and I think that's probably because it was so bright in here. And then you have a nice shower, nice size. And guess what? Look how tall the shower head is. I think that's a really nice thing to be aware of. And then, of course, the pocket door. So that you don't take up more of the room with door space opening and closing. So now, oh, you know what? Let me turn on this light for you. This is so cool. That light is, I don't know how old it is, but it's just one of cool light. All right, here we have the main floor bath. We have the toilet, the clawfoot tub. I think it's pretty nice to put up one of those pipes, you know, with the shower curtain around it, so you could take it showers in here. And then you have the towel rack, sink, and um, mirror. Now there's the light fixture, and one of the lights is not working in this. This bathroom has lots of space for shelving, for uh, corner cabinets, for whatever you want. And this tub looks like it's in very good shape. So can you just imagine sitting there with bubbles and reading your book? Isn't that a TV type commercial thing? Now in this room here, and uh, oops, I'm a train on the ceiling fan too. That's gonna kind of drive us crazy maybe. Maybe not. But you have a closet here. And 
everyone always wants to know what the floors look like. Well, you can see what this was some of the original wood, and there's some pieces in here that are patched, and then this looks like it's plywood. So this is room that you would probably best be served by putting in carpet. And these windows are the older wood windows. I cannot tell you when they were installed. Look at some of the woodwork here around the door. And there's even a sconce in this room. Okay, let's go on back out. Now we've come back into the dining area or however you expanded living area, whatever you want to do. I love the touches of the painting above the doors. It's so fun to go up and down. Now, walking into the kitchen, and you can't tell me this kitchen's not been updated since 1900 or 1898 or whatever it is, but we have a lot of cabinets, a lot of counter space. Right now, there's a microwave that'll come with the house that's sitting on the countertop, but you could install one above the range if you wanted to. This house has a dishwasher, and remember, not all old houses like this have a dishwasher. And so I'm trying to give you a good feeling of what's really here. That's an interesting reflection. And once again, this is one of those windows that has been replaced. So in this kitchen area, we have a table so that you can feel what it feels like. And so you can see that there's actually drawers and cabinet space on this side of the counter and it's a large space and then there's this a, a light above in the kitchen and i forgot to look if there was a light above the sink or not um yep there sure is i thought there was but i wanted to make sure okay well i'm gonna pause we're gonna look outside the window we'll come back out to do the outdoors in just a little bit you've got a couple decks Nice to see some of the vegetation with trees on there. That one uh, vine out there is a grapevine. It's a dark grape and it's with se it has seeds and it's really good. Now we're going to go into the laundry room and then head down into the basement. Right there is an access to the attic and we'll come back and take a look at that. There's some cabinets in here and this is the laundry room so you do not have to go into the basement to see it. The floor is currently in the process of being painted. And so at some point, that will be done. You have an access to the, the uh, front of the out, um, driveway. And over here, you have an access to the backyard. Look at those windows. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they've got those ridges in them. It's pretty nice. Okay, let's go down. Now, in these older houses, you never know what you're going to find in a basement. And this one's pretty cool, in, actually. Uh, there's some finish in here. And most of it you would use for storage, probably. There's a, a, a power box. Uh, the carbon monoxide detector is always nice to have. Then you have a bedroom over here. And I don't really call it a bedroom, more of a study office, because it doesn't have an egress window. These older houses don't, typically because of how they were built. And you have a ledge in here. And you're getting to see, this is a tour of the house, so this is everything. Up here you have access to the crawl space underneath the front portion of the house. You have the furnace, water heater, humidifier. Um, that water heater was installed here just in 11, 2012, so that's nice and new. And the furnace is, I can't remember, and we won't look for that now. This other room over here is another great room for storage and it's so fun to see some of the lath um, in these rooms. So now we're going to try to go upstairs and see how we're doing here on getting the ladder down. I have an assistant and she's helping me with this. Okay, can I come up? Yes. Okay, awesome, thank you. So as you see, the ladder is down, and I showed it to you before, so let's go on up so you can see. And you know, I've never climbed one of these ladders while I'm using the camera, so it may be a little bit jerky while I do this. But I thought you would really like to see what it looks like. Okay, give me just a minute. I don't want to fall. You don't want me to fall either. 
I'm up. So I am, how tall am I? Five, three. And so we have a fan to come on to draw out any hot air that comes in here. There's um, plywood down here in a rug. That's kind of cool. And then there's a bunch of space in here. I'm going to go, ooh. I want to kind of see if I can zoom in so you can see the dark. Anyway, you're getting the whole house tour. I probably needed a flashlight with me on this. But as you can see, looks like someone's walked that way at one time. All right, so you have some space that doesn't have the plywood on it, but you can also see that it's insulated. So now I'm on the upper level here, and hello light. Ooh, sorry, didn't mean to do that to you. Okay, I'm going to head on down because then we want to go outside into the garage. And, okay, so hold on while you get bored here for a minute while I start down the ladder. And then we'll just keep going here. I actually go fairly fast once I get started. <coughs> okay, here we go. Now, if you'd like ladders, and I hope that just didn't make you sick. So my question is, do I look down at my feet or do I look down? Whoa, probably not. Not recommended for most people to do it this way. All right, let's go outside. I'm gonna go out the, through the laundry door through the front of the garage. And this is a charmer. Look at this. There's a gas heater in the garage. The garage door is open because, yeah, it works. And then you have a little room back here. So there's lots of light, there's storage, uh, there's power, there's cabinets built in. And I'm gonna go ahead and close this as we go into the backyard. It's kinda nice to know it really does work, isn't it? Oh yeah, there's a professor here and the owner's going to leave that with the house. Okay, so now we're in the backyard and that ladder was experience, an experience of its own, wasn't it? So you have little walkways, you have garden area with spices, a little pond, and then you have some trees. And I just, um, not, there's some fruit trees and they're wonderful and yeah, there's some leaves, and I don't know about this, but you see the air compressor or a condenser for the air conditioning. Yay! And this house has a sprinkler system. So there's the control boxes for the sprinkler system. Okay. So now let's walk on back to the back of the property. And what's really nice here is that there's more space. This house has alley access and a garden area. Now this garden area, you can see the recycle stuff for the vegetables. I would guess this is a strawberry patch. And I'm not sure, there's some weeds in here of course and some grass, but what a great garden area. Then you have parking, and that sun is kind of hard, and then additional outbuilding for storage. So we've lost some, lost some um, leaves. Now one of these trees is a peach tree, and I think we had a late season, and the owner told me that they had 40 peaches off of it. Now, I just have to do this for you. See, look at the grapes. And, mmm, mmm. Very sweet. I wish you were here with me. And enjoying them too. That's kind of rude to be doing it seed spinning contest isn't it but it could be a lot of fun now the other thing to show you is the awning on the deck it has one of those sunshades that rolls out I'm not going to do that for you today and then you have the two different decks you have this down here and then this here so if you can imagine sitting in your backyard and enjoying these views and the vegetation and this is the home for you. This is Nancy Garnan with Remax Alliance. 
feel free to contact me at Nancy with an I, N-A-N-C-I, at sales, it's S-E-L-L-S, realestate.com, or 970-622-1846. Thank you, and please feel free to share this with the people you know. Bye.